Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this nice looking sanitary and vent riser diagram and floor plan using these 10 lavatories inside of Revit. I'm going to show you how I model each fixture and how I tag everything up to make it look really, really nice. So enjoy. So let's start things off by going to new, start a new plumbing default template project, go up to insert, link Revit, we'll load in our architectural model, I'll hide these, we'll zoom in. Now we want to load our custom plumbing fixtures, so I'm going to go up to my MEP Guy plumbing fixture template. I'm going to select my fixtures, copy them to the clipboard, and then we'll paste them in to this project and click. And once they're in, we can just delete them. And now we're going to use one of these fixtures. So I'll add the plumbing fixture, and it's called a lavatory, and it's going to be the wall mounted. And we're just going to place it right here behind this fixture, just like that. I'm going to go up to a 3D view. I'm going to hide the levels, zoom in, and we're just going to focus on this fixture right here. So the first thing I might want to do is I might want to draw my main that's going to be under the floor. So we'll go to our floor plan. I'll move my 3D view down so we can work in both a floor plan and a 3D view, which is how I like to work. So let's just start drawing some sanitary piping. We use this sanitary PVC. I'm going to start it at negative two feet. And we'll start drawing it in front of my fixtures just like this over to this direction. Can't see anything, so we need to set the view range to unlimited. Now we can see our pipe. We need to make sure that it's put on the sanitary system. So let's select sanitary. And let's go back to our 3D view. We'll use a fine level of detail here. And we'll turn off our thick lines. I'm going to select this fixture and then just rotate so you guys can see. And all we're going to do is we're going to use our connect into command. We'll select this sanitary connector and then click on our main at the floor. As you can see, the correct fittings are being drawn. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down. We're going to use connect into again. And we're going to select this sanitary connector on the bottom and click this piece. And I'll rotate that a little bit. And we're going to set this to one foot six, just like that. We'll change this to a P-trap right here. And now I'm going to click on this elbow and we're going to change it to a T. And now we need to start drawing some vent piping. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to draw it behind the wall. Make sure it's up at nine feet. And this time we're gonna draw it off to this way. Maybe something like that. Now we can zoom out. And we're gonna go ahead and click on our fixture, use connect into, and this time we'll select this connector and click the pipe at the ceiling, just like that. Now we might want to use a 45 degree angle so it's conducive to how vents are usually drawn on our documents. So let's change this to 45 degrees. We'll delete this piece and then we'll trim this one to this one, just like that. So that's looking good. And let's also change our scale to a quarter inch and let's change it to a quarter inch down here. And now that one of the lavatories has been drawn, we can use the array command to array all 10 of these. So I'm just gonna select this pipe and all of these pieces right here. We'll go up to array and we'll select 10 we we'll use the second and we'll copy it from this point to this point, just like that. Now we have all those copied. So I'm going to show you guys two little tricks. The first trick I'm going to show is using the trim extend multiple. So I'll turn on my thick lines. We'll click this and I'm going to click where I want to go. And then we're just going to highlight all these pipes and all the connections get made. Right now I'm drawing with this sanitary PVC type, but I actually want to use my vent type. So the first thing I would want to do is I want to change the system to this vent sanitary system, and that will change my the color of the piping and the line pattern. And then the next thing I would want to do is I want to tab into all my pipe, and we're going to change the type to this custom vent PVC type. Now the next trick I want to show you guys is how to get it to automatically connect piping using a different technique. So these are all at the same length right here. So if I start from the end here and I right click and draw pipe, if I draw it this way, since there's an intersection at these points, Revit will automatically connect. But I need to make sure that I change this to the correct type of fitting. So all I have to do is based on my routing preferences, if I actually change this to three inches, Revit will actually change that fitting to my combo Y fitting, just like this. And that is based on the routing preferences that I've set. And I go over this kinds of stuff in my Three Secrets course, which is free at mepguy.com. So let's continue this project. Now I'm gonna zoom out here. 
Now, after we've drawn this, we could always exaggerate it a little bit by pulling it out, maybe to some spot right there. Now, this is great for design intent, which means that we intend the design to have these types of features, but for constructability in the real world, the contractor's not gonna install the vents behind the wall like this. They're likely gonna do it right above the lavatories. So what we can do is we can make that change pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and delete all of these pieces right here, and let's drag this vent line in a 45 degree angle on this side of the wall, just like that. Now we'll do the same, use the same technique, copy all of these, We'll array them 10 times from this point to this point, just like that. And again, if we want to connect all the sanitary pipes in one shot, all we have to do is right click on this piece, draw a pipe and go this way. And then we can do the same thing. We can right click on this piece and go this way. Now, since these are a 45 degree angle, they don't actually connect, but that's not a problem. We can just use our trim extend multiple, select our main, and we wanna select all the vent pipes, but we don't wanna select the sanitary pipes. So we have to come up with another method. So we can quickly just tab into our sanitary piping. We can use this temporary hide element. And then let's try to use the same technique, select our main, and then we'll select all the branches. And they all get connected in one shot. Now let's turn back on our sanitary piping. I go into reset temporary hide isolate, Let's go ahead and update this pipe to three inches and let's go ahead and make a clean out over here so that way if there was ever a clog we can clean it so we'll click on this elbow click the plus button right click draw pipe and let's draw it up to zero hit apply now we have a nice clean out now I want to cap this so I'm going to select all my pipes here I'm going to use the cap open ends command we have some caps added and you can see I have a nice clean out symbol right here so this is looking pretty nice and clean. So let's make this look nice on our isometric drawing as well. So I might wanna start tagging this isometric drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag the sanitary first. So I'm just gonna tab into all of the sanitary, just like this. And I don't wanna select the fixtures right here. So I can go into a front view like this and I can hold shift and I don't wanna tag these pieces right here. Now I'll click the corner to go back to my isometric view. And it deselects everything, but I can right click and say select previous. And you can see all those pieces are now selected. So I'll go up to my annotate tag, tab, tag all. I have to lock the view first, so let's lock it. Call it sanitary ISO. And then again, I can right click, select previous, annotate, tag all, pipe tags. And we'll use this pipe size tag right out of the box. And as you can see, I have now tagged all of my pieces of pipe. Next, I want to do the vent so we can use a similar technique. Let's go ahead and tag these pieces right here, and maybe we'll tag these pieces right here. So let's use the same technique we did before. We'll go ahead and select these sanitary pieces. We'll hide the element in the view, and now we can easily select these, this main right here. And then to select these pieces down here, we can just hold Control and select them just like this. And now we have the pipes that we want to tag. So let's go up to, we'll click into our isometric view, we'll go to annotate, tag all, and we'll use pipe tags, click OK. And now I have some more pipe tags added to my isometric view. Now the last pieces I might want to tag, and this is not necessary, but I want to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to tag these pieces up here. So let's go ahead and just highlight these using a crossing selection. We can deselect our plumbing fixtures by going to filter, and then let's click back into our isometric view, annotate, tag all, and we'll use the pipe size tag, but this time I wanna use a leader. We'll click OK. Now you can definitely just go with this, but the problem with this is the, these are actually going to be rotated slightly, and if you want that, that's totally fine, but I've actually created a pipe tag that has the tag text going horizontally, and so let's go ahead and update this type of tag. So let's undo that and we'll select previous again. But before we do that, let's insert a couple of my custom tags. So we're just gonna use this leader pipe size tag and this fix fixture units pipe size tag. We're gonna select both of them and we're just gonna drag them into our project. Close this out. Now let's try that again. We'll select the previous, go up to annotate, tag all, 
select the tags, and this time we'll use the leader pipe size tag. We'll select leader and we'll click OK. And now our leaders or text is completely straight. This one went down here, so we can easily just drag this one back up and try to make it look oriented correctly. So that looks great. We could select all of these just like this, and we can move them all at the same time if we need to, to make them look a little cleaner. That looks pretty good. And we can also use a loop or something for this type of tag. So we can go to edit type, and let's use this loop eighth of an inch. Click OK, and that looks great. So the last thing I might wanna do is add a tag down here to track the number of DFU for my fixtures. So I have 10 lavatory fixtures, each with one DFU. So when I click on my pipe down here, I should have 10 DFUs or fixture units. And so that's looking good. And so now I'm gonna add a custom tag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a leader to this tag. We'll move it over. And then I'm gonna change the type to this fixture unit pipe size tag, just like this. And then we'll drag it over and we'll make sure we use the free end. And then I'm just going to drag that piece over here, make it look pretty. And then I'll go ahead and add a loop to this as well, just like that. And that looks great. Now we also want to track the fixture units in our vents. And so over here, we should also have 10 fixture units. So let's go down here and you can see there's 10 fixture units. So let's do the same thing. This time I'm just gonna delete this pipe tag and we'll just go ahead and use the create similar button and we'll just click on this and we'll just make it look something nice like that. And so now you can see we have a nice isometric riser diagram for our contract documents. And let's go ahead and unhide our sanitary piping down here. And we can click quickly tag these pieces as well. So let's go ahead and select all the piping we wanna tag. We'll just hold control. I think these pieces are good for this drawing. We'll hit annotate, tag all. We'll use pipe sizes pipe size tag, click OK, and that looks great. And we can also track our DFUs here if we wanted to by using our custom tag. We'll drag this down, and we'll drag this down as well to right there. And let's go ahead and add those leaders with our loops. Now the last thing we might wanna tag is our fixtures themselves. So let's go ahead and click on one of them. We'll right click, we'll select all instances visible in view, go up to annotate, tag all, we'll select plumbing fixture tags, and we'll just use the standard type. And we haven't added a type mark yet, so let's go ahead and add one. So I'm gonna click into this tag, and we'll just name it L- we'll hit yes. And now I'm gonna select all of my tags again, and we'll just move them to a location that looks good, just like that. And then let's also tag them in our isometric view. So let's go ahead and select one of them, right click, select all instances, visible in view, go up to annotate, tag all, select our plumbing fixture tags, use the standard, and we'll click OK. And then we'll zoom in, select one of them, right click, select all instances visible in view. And let's just go ahead and drag them over to a point about right there. And that looks great. And so now we're done. The last thing I'll show you guys is how you can customize your isometric views with my custom plumbing fixtures. So if we change the level of detail to medium, you can see that everything's looking good still. But if we change it to coarse, you can see the architect's fixtures are still showing, but my fixtures just turned into a box. So let's go ahead and hide the architect's fixtures. So I'll go to VV, Revit links, and we'll change it to custom and go to model categories custom, and we'll turn off the architect's plumbing fixtures. And now you can see we have a graphic orientation or display of an isometric drawing that's very simple. We could also turn off this if we want, so we click into it and edit the type. And I've created some visibility parameters so we can hide the riser symbol right here. Hit apply, and then we can hit okay. And if you guys want to display your drawings just like this, you can do that. Or you can go up to medium level of detail and you can display your isometric drawings like this. So they're very customizable. So if you wanna get these fixtures, you can get them with my course, Plumbing 101 at mepguy.com. And I've specifically designed them for modeling very fast inside of Revit. And I've also created them so that they can be quickly copied into any project. And I've also included customized pipe types and pipe systems for modeling quickly in Revit. And the fixtures also come with my custom water closet carriers and vent system. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to watch me design a complete sanitary vent system, make sure to check out the next video.